All right, next up is an optic full case by Teams, number seven. There are the Teams. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short, talk. <laughs> She posts pictures on Instagram without makeup all the time. She looks funny. The best mellow was when she had the belt and she would come out in like regular clothes. I don't like her leotard. I don't like yeah, like the super high cut. Or like, yeah, I don't like that. Also big cats. I mean, I just could never. Jules, shoot me straight, hundred percent honesty. Am I better than big cats? All things considered, just every single look at the whole, the whole picture. I'm better than big cats, right? What if he's like the nicest guy in the world? Yeah, maybe he is. Sure. He's too tall. Big, too tall cast. You don't want to be 6'10. No. I sure don't. Big cast and Corey Graves. I can't. I mean, Corey Graves is awesome. He's super talented, but like. It just looks like it. it's just not going to work. There's no way that's going to last. <laughs> Does anyone think Big Cass and, or uh, Corey Graves and Mello will be together a year from now? There's no way. <laughs> Winning personality. Chris Shaw to 150. CNL Perez for Houston. Big grab. I think Mello needs to look no further than the NXT roster and a certain Roderick Strong. <laughs> all right, Shark Sitch. Better Shark Sitch. Thanks like for hanging Mello out all night. Mello and Strong 2020. Boy, that was a huge win for the Brewers, oh, chasing the Cubs. Come from behind. Keston Hero, rookie. Oh, uh, Rod Mary? No, obviously. All the good ones are taken. <laughs> I'd married him when he was like 14. Married his high school sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big one, Dave. Oh yeah, is Dave a Wisconsinite too? OTPs? What is that? I don't know what that is. Goldschmidt. There's a Cardinals Purple Stars. I don't what know, more could Jules want in a card? I don't know what a 13 year old girl is and I don't know what Tumblr is. Or an OTP. None of those things mean anything to me. Marina Schaefer? Oh, what a lucky girl. One trick pony? It was just a Purple Stars. Uh, here, a hollow rookie. Purple Stars, Goldschmidt. One true pairing. Oh! One true pairing. That doesn't sound uh, more important than it really is, right? Yeah. Brandon Lau. AJ Singh. Uh, sorry, I didn't know that was a thing. Cool, Dave. I always see all those people like 
all the people that live in Wisconsin on shipping day and then I don't know who they are in chat or like in the oh, yeah. or like Like when oh. you're really rooting for oh, yeah. Jon Snow and Egret. Wow, well, I was. I oh, am. Yeah. Are they still together? Uh -huh. They're married. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're married. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Jules told me that before. That's right. <laughs> me and Rasmus. You guys would get along great. Oh, hey Jules, or hey Rasmus. Oh, Rasmus is here. Yeah. He just, just jumped in. Rasmus rules. Scherzer. Oh, that's right, you're kind of right. Shipping. Why is it called shipping? Like a relationship. Oh, yeah. I don't have any meaning for relationships, so it went right <laughs> over my head. <laughs> I think I asked Jules the same question a year ago, or two years ago, whatever that was. Grom, pink velocity. Rasmus, was it now three years ago that we went to the national together? Or we met at the national? Or was that two was, years? No, I was there two years ago, and he wasn't. Three years now, that's insane. Four years, maybe. Because wasn't it like in Atlantic City one of those years? I've been there oh, the last yeah. two years, and he hasn't Four been there. Four years? Yeah. 2015? No way. Oh my god. Well, that's depressing. Questly stands the, <laughs> yeah. the Omni Sam dynamic. Eloy Pink Velocity Auto. JP, nice one. Wow, that's nice. The people love optic. You wouldn't believe how many emails I got today asking to post more optic. I wasn't even going to do it. Yeah, people have been asking during the breaks and over email. Only 15. <laughs> yeah, it was exactly two emails, actually. That's a lot. It's more than... Yeah. I, don't get, I didn't get any other emails about posting anything else. So... Would you believe that I got even two emails about Optic? 14 was Cleveland. I want to say I didn't go to 14. I went to like 13, 15. No, I did go to 14. Nah. I don't remember any of them. You don't even remember that fateful day when you met me? At... No, I don't. That was in Chicago. Two, two years I ago. Were, I was in Cleveland at 14, okay. I remember... My biggest memories of the National are Jules and Ryan dying doing a hockey break. Caleb Ferguson to 99 for the Dodgers. Cool breeze. The um, rookie anthology after they had helped me like for four days and they were mentally and physically exhausted. Jose Ramirez to 35. Tim's given up. Yeah, I don't see Tim as being a give up type of person. Hey, we have lots of drafted breaks again. I've been I've been doing drafted random teams. I think I've been doing a good job of mixing things up. Using the new uh, the Watch relatively it. new twenty spot. Twenty spot is, is uh that's been key, I think. That never gives me any credit. That's a good format. Dual case of Bowman drafted. I spent like an hour. Ask Omni. I spent an hour updating oh, yeah. the draft rankings. Researched all 19. Another Glaber. 18. We're on a Glaber run here. JD Spears. Getting slightly less lazy. To 75. I like that design. The 17. Yeah, design. the 20 spot's awesome. 
perfect. Because no, those brakes, most of the people who buy those brakes anyway, they'd rather just do yeah. that. You know, it's not like, it doesn't exclude people who are like, well, I would have bought into it if it was 28, but it's too expensive now that it's 20. It, it just makes it so everyone gets a little better stuff. Oh, that's every national duck. It's okay. This year, you guys don't have to do anything for me. How about that, Jules? Except for do all the brakes. <laughs> Literally, you have, they have to do everything oh, for yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. But not... They don't have to pick me up at the airport, drive me everywhere I want to go. That's true. Make sure I have... At the of, times you want to be there. Yeah. Fresh towels and waters. Ice cold water in the car when I get there. Feed me. No sponge baths this year, Brian. Well, maybe just Jules's. Actually, yeah, we were talking about that, yeah. Tim. I spent an hour doing the rankings, and I was, I was thinking, like, I bet half the people are going to be mad that the rankings are more accurate than they were. <laughs> like, Ryan, eat my deep dish. No, there's no partying at all. It's just breaks. For us, the National is do breaks, go back and forth from the hotel, try to get back for the next one, do the same thing for four days, and then want to die. The wildest the National gets is we all go, well, not all, but, you know, it'll be like Jules and Ryan and Sam and I at dinner, and Sam will say, should we do more breaks when we get done, when we get yeah. back from dinner, when we get back to the hotel, should I pull some more Topps yeah. Chrome, should I? That's exactly right. And it's the three of us saying, yeah, that'll be fine, you know, that'll be all right, and just praying that he decides not to. I'll wake up at like 3 a.m. call <laughs> Should I post something now? We could probably break it at like 6 a.m. I'm not even tired. Wander Hollow. Yeah, that's true. Jules, uh, Jules will just uh, say that that's not a good idea. I saw it, AJ. I'll, I'll star it. Hopefully we can... we got to remember AJ's new name. Oh, because. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you might be surprised to find out I can't relax uh, ever at anything. I can't just enjoy the national. I have to just work the whole time. Ooh, there's a nice Tatis Pink Velocity non-auto. Pacers. Hello. <laughs> I go home after the breaks and ask my wife, like, you think I should post some more for tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Jules knows she's going to get, they're going to get messages from me like, hey, I just, uh, I just talked to Blog. I've got like four cases uh, <laughs> for you guys at the booth. I think you have time to go back to the hotel. Another Caleb Ferguson for Cool Breeze. I already paid for him. Just go pick him up. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know, the only reason I'm not going to do that is because we're going to be here doing great, so you're safe. Oh, yeah, Pacers, the dream is dead. Archives? Archive signatures? There's several of them. Yeah, there are, there's a few, I'm sure. Chris Paddock signature series. One of the hottest names in baseball. Big Rab. 2022. Probably be sitting here doing the same thing. God willing. Best case scenario, yeah. yeah. Then I'll be saying, like, did I go to the 2019 National? And be like, no, that's the one you guys made us do all the work at. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, that's one where Ryan split his pants and bending over to pick up the box to drop. 
And, it was and you were and you were so upset that that was the year you didn't go. Yeah. <laughs> and Jules would be like, no, that was 2020. Oh yeah. She'd be like, wait, it was it was 19 and 20. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. He split his shorts in 19. He split his pants in 20. <laughs> funnier than splitting your pants. It's the best. <laughs> My favorite joke ever. It's not even a joke. It happens. Yeah. People are sp splitting their pants right now as we're talking. Pool hole's red. You just casually reach down to pick something up. The thing you've done a hundred times and your pants are like, this is it. Not too many times. I know Ryan's laughing somewhere. <laughs> Brendan Rogers. You get a lot of Brendan Rogers. Yeah. Hey, Boris. I want to see a gold vinyl. We've it's had one. On the but one case, like, the first case. Yeah. We've had one, but. Merrifield Diamond Kings to Brian, 75. Brian, isn't that exactly what someone would say who is totally part of the master plan? Someone's at the front door. Austin Riley, red rookie. the term manipulator but master planner is cool too puppeteer or puppeteer yeah while it may be true that I manipulate and puppeteer Rasmus and the Omni and Brian and Jules and Ryan, they still come back. They stay. I signed up for way more than yeah. before. Unless that was some other master manipulation. That they could leave at any time. Rasmus is almost out. He still comes back. Mostly out. He's only mostly out. <laughs> yeah, I jumped on the train late. I can't take any credit for the rise. CNL Perez for Houston. Big grab. Would have made it without Jules. Have I made it? Looks like we made it. John Duplantier, Purple Stars. Finally got that compliment from Jules. She never, she never complimented me, but she just did a weird way of saying that I made it. <laughs> I, I saw it, Jules. Can't take that one back. So 
always telling me I'm nothing. I'm not, I never yeah. got anything. Why don't you just give up? You're disgusting. You're yeah. bald. You're paunchy. <laughs> Chris Paddock, Purple Stars. Vlad. That was a callback joke, Doc. To Uncle Leo. Mookie Betts, purple stars. Man, a lot of purple stars in this. <laughs> First few boxes. Feels like, what's up, Hanchi? <laughs> I told you I don't like being called that. Sorry, Hanchi. Wasn't that, that guy's name in Chips? Ponch. Brandon Lau. AJ Sane. Yeah, they keep coming back. I must be treating them well. And if it's over there, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I didn't for one second think it wasn't. Oh, I don't know. Should be up. Glad the rookies. Swedish music. Night, Kermit. What? She said oh. this puppet is sleepy. I chose one of the less insulting ones. There's a Muppet. Muppets are puppets. Oh, yeah. Carlos Carrasco orange. Yeah, Jules. Why is it a, it's like a monster puppet or something? Is a Muppet? Yeah, I don't know if it was just like a way to <laughs> differentiate or something. Chris Shaw to 50. Daniels. Oh, Puppet. Can you really not find the YouTube stream, Russell? people watching. <laughs> 13 thumbs up and one thumbs down. Whatever that guy is. I don't like this stream. I'm gonna make it two. Do you see somebody com <laughs> somebody commented the other day like who keeps thumb putting thumbs down on these videos? Really? Yeah. David Peralta to twenty five. Never put a thumbs down on anything ever. Why does it even matter? Yeah. Or, a th or a thumbs up. Up. <laughs> yeah. Juan Soto, Carolina Blue to 50. I don't Why like do how this guy breaks boxes. 
Everyone should know. And not only am I going to not watch it. I'm going to warn others. Yeah. People got to know. Otani Mythical Hollow. Oh, man. It's cooled off the 90 outside. Now that it's Darko. Forrest Whitley, hollow autograph. Big grab. Is there any West Coast games on? I don't know. <laughs> no hot boxes yet, halfway through. Justice Sheffield for Seattle. Hey, Boris. <laughs> Kevin Newman, purple. Pittsburgh. Mr. Nisbet. That was two pretty quick. This might be a hot box. It is a hot box. Chick of Nicks. Big grab your Padres. What books? Oh, yeah. News and Parks. Not fun. My wife did that like a month ago. She took my kids to, our kids to, uh, whatever, Six Flags something. She was like, man, this place is like, it's full of like punk kid, like teenagers, like making out. Yeah. It was always like that. Yeah. It's just that now you're older and it's annoying. More annoying than it was then. Jonathan Loizaga, purple. 125. For the Yankees, J.D. Spears. Yeah, I can't do it. I'll go to Disneyland every few years. It's okay. But like the regular like Six Flags, flags type stuff. No way. Not going to do it. Plus, you just go to Dave and Buster's. It's about the same. Yeah. Like, do you think the, your kids are like, oh, thank God we're at... Six Flags, maybe, I guess. Imagine if you just gave your kids $1,000 at <laughs> Dave & Buster's instead of having to spend it on driving yeah. and food and gas. And you know how many else. games you could play at Dave & Buster's yeah. for an hour in a... There's a Soto Red to 60. It's mad a lot. Three, four, seven, and nine. Oh, my God. Yeah, mad is a good description of most of the time when I'm with my kids. They just don't do anything you want them to do. Is that everyone's kids? The whole thing is like, no, we're just not going to do what you guys what you want us to do, ever. Chris Shaw, Pink Velocity. When I was a kid, I think I, we did stuff that our parents told us to do. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't think I was that bad. But. I mean, I'm sure I had some times where I would, you know, be better or worse. But. Patrick Wisdom, orange to 99. Or I think they're to 99. Yeah. 
for the Cardinals. Cool breeze. Yeah, and then when they do take out the trash, they'll like drop a bunch of trash on the way out, and then they'll say like, "I did take it out when you asked me to. I didn't hear you ask me to take it. You got like, they can't even just do the thing. You got to hear all these excuses and what you did wrong, and they're not wrong, and they never do anything wrong." Freaking kids. Yeah, kids can be so childish. <laughs> yeah. How many things are inserts? There's, there are no there are, parallels of those. Yeah. There, it is a separate set. It's numbered separately. <laughs> My son took out a, for some reason, a block of the, or maybe it was like the stacked slices of cheese that we had in the refrigerator, like cheddar or whatever. Mm -hmm. The whole thing, like a double thing. Took it outside, it was like 100 degrees, you know, by the pool, and he just left it out there for the entire day. It was all melted and ruined. Yeah. My wife was like, you gotta bring in the thing, and he was like mad, like, I forget, I can't remember, it's like. I think I would have been like, ooh, sorry. Yeah. Please. He's like mad at us for telling Pointing him out, yeah. that he shouldn't have done that. You ruined the whole thing of cheese, son. That's a high crime. I know. Cool Pretty breeze. Good cheese. Ponce de Leon auto. <laughs> Actually, at his game. It's like he he and one or two other kids just hog the ball the whole time, like shoot it every time. And the coach is like screaming at them, like pass yeah, the ball, pass yeah. the ball, pass the ball. So like, my son passed a little bit, but he definitely hogs the ball. And there's another kid that just shot him every time he got the ball. And at the end of the game. Coach gets them all in a circle, and he's like, you know, they're only six, but he's like, uh, you guys have to... Jordan Alvarez, Ooh, Pink Velocity Auto. Nice. Big grab. Nice one. He was like, you guys have to pass the ball to each other. We're just learning basketball, and, like, it's not fun for the kids who are just run up and down the court. Like, let's have everyone take shots, blah, 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 blah. Which is what I was thinking the whole time I was watching the game. So... 30 seconds after that, we're walking outside, and I was like, did you hear what your coach said? And he goes, what? You know, what your coach said when he sat down. He's like, no, I don't remember. <laughs> like, it was 30 seconds ago. I forget things. That one's going to take another... Uh, going to have to tell him that one, one one or two more times before it sticks, huh? Yeah. Like, that was the whole, it was like a five-minute discussion about, yeah. like, when we practice Wednesday, we're just going to practice passing until you guys, like, it was, you know, it wasn't like he mentioned it yeah. briefly. It was the whole thing. The whole end of the game talk. <laughs> and I don't remember. Well, that's part of the reason I like Disneyland, because my great aunt and uncle live there, and my great aunt loves Disneyland, so when we go... She's like, I'll take the kids on all the rides or whatever, and I'm like, awesome. It helps to have like a oh yeah, you know, another one. a willing someone who wants to hang out with them. Yeah, my son's a little bit of a airhead sometimes, or he's just you know conveniently. I think a lot of us are pretty spacey at six. Yeah. Uh, she's not that into it. I know somebody like that. I actually have a, a friend. It's more of a friend of my brother's, but he is obsessed with everything Disney. And he knows, like, oh, go here at this time and then... Tuki Toussaint, Pink Velocity Auto for the Braves. We're getting, like, a ton of these now. He's like, right now, today, they've got this thing that's not normally there, and this thing, and whatever. That's cool. I don't know. 
Yeah. That's how this guy is. I kind of respect it. It's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. If you're going to be into something, why not move it all the way? Especially something like that where, like, you guys are lamenting, you know, wasting your time and money. And if they're having a good time and they know how to best maximize it, that's a good yeah. thing. <laughs> we were down there. Colby Allard, Halawada. A couple of years ago, and I saw him. I just, like, ran into him, and I was like, yeah, of course you would be here. He's like, I'm here, like, every day. He, doesn't, he lives here in Sacramento. Oh, really? He's always down there. Yeah. Wow. They just go for Disneyland, always. He's, like, 40. Kevin Kramer. Mr. Nisbet. This is another auto hot box. Millions of people go to Disneyland, and I just see that. This guy. <laughs> yeah. He said, I asked him, I was like, do you like taking people to, you know, to Disneyland? Yeah. And like showing them around? He's like, honestly, I don't because... Are you Eugenio Suarez? To 50. Gets in his way. Yeah, he's like, I have a set thing that I want to do, and like, I don't want to spend, you know, I know how much time I want to spend at like each place. And... John Duplantier. Freebs. To 99. <laughs> the best thing. We were at my brother's house and they were talking about stuff. And his wife was like, oh, our friend did the coolest thing. He was working on, like, so he knew somebody was working on the Star Wars stuff, the new mm -hmm. Star Wars. Well, you know, there's thousands of people working yeah. on where they were. And, um, Michael Chavez, we the people. This friend of theirs somehow got the, somebody working on it to, like, sign his name on a post. Oh. That's like inside of one of the areas. Really? Or, you know, not his, you know, the person who's obsessed with Disneyland's name is written on a post. It's not yeah. even his, he didn't even write it. And they were like tearing up about it. Like, <laughs> the coolest thing anyone's ever done for us. We're in the like Star Wars, inside of the Star Wars thing. It's like, wow, you guys are really into Disneyland. Jake Cave Orange to 99. super bogged down with people, isn't it? Yeah, I heard that's... No, it's not. I heard there's not oh. that many people going. Oh, really? And people just aren't that crazy about it? Yeah, that's what I read. I don't know. I thought that was just... Like, early on or whatever. I don't know. Only one ride. Steven Gonsalves To 35. No ben Rhodes fan, your twins. He's almost got a Sandy Koufax looking on Oh yeah, that one especially. Yeah. I'm over Star Wars. I can't do all the new. I like them all. I'll go to every one they put out. Yeah, but I will like... too, but it's not. It's just not the same. Yeah. It's not my Star Wars. Yeah. Well, your Star Wars is still there, luckily. Yeah. It's... They didn't replace any of them. <laughs> this is the Senate. Here's where <laughs> intergalactic laws are made. Yeah. Ooh, you're lucky. Trade law. Trade law. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird, too, like, some people have mentioned that, like, the stormtroopers, the whole point of them is that they're, like, Nazi. Yeah. The, it's like Nazi iconography. And... Like, then they're just, like, stormtroopers wandering around Disneyland, and it's, like, you know, yeah. it's, like, not the... Not the vibe you want to be throwing out. I did like the Jedi training thing they had there before. That was funny. They have, like, Darth Vader come out and try to turn to the dark side, the kids, you know? Oh, yeah. Another Kyle Tucker, Pink Velocity. Big Rab, or another Pink Velocity. This one's Kyle Tucker, I should say. Another bad creation. Yeah, we thought these were one a case, and they were getting like three or four. What were we wrong? Jacob Nix to 150. 
Every time I hear about the Trade Federation and all that, I just think of that scene with... Well, there's like a hundred of them, but... Those scenes with Padme and Naramadala and... What's his name? Where they're... You sound like a... Apologize. Where, where, where the sympathizer? I'm like, I don't even know what is going on. Yeah. Right I don't care. We can't tell why it's yeah. bad. We know that Palpatine is bad, but we don't, like... Nobody else does. Garrett Hampson. I didn't have to think on the old Star Wars movies. It's just fun. Like there's, there's lightsaber battles. And I now have to keep track of some political thing. And it's like a, just some obviously a made up Trevor Richards gold sold turkey. to me by some punk kid. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that movie. I was like, I don't know what's. I have no idea why anything is happening. Right yeah, now. it's confusing. Yeah. And they do not get less confusing. <laughs> The prequels. Separatists and I don't hate the prequels personally. Yeah, they're okay. It's not my There's a Tiant Gold for Cleveland. Ben Rhodes fan. I like a lot of the parts like the I think I said four of ten. They're like interesting as like some background, you know, for some of the characters. I like the planets. Like, I like the... Um, Nabu. Yeah, and I like the water place where the clone stuff is happening. Like mm -hmm. Those scenes where they go in the waves and those alien thingies. Like, it has some cool feel to, like, yeah. the places. But, like, Jar Jar Binks and... That made it real tough to... That's not Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> it's the same voice as something else. I can't remember. Yachty Pink Velocity. I liked Phantom Menace when I first saw it. it was cool with it. I think I was too young to... Two is the worst one. Yeah. Three was okay. Three was actually pretty good. Yeah. The Jar Jar Sith Lord stuff. It's so funny. I was working as a dishwasher at that restaurant, and there was a, I was going to say older couple, but they were like in their 30s, but I was like 19, you know? Mm -hmm. When did that come out? 99 yeah, or something? Yeah, I was 19. And uh, the guy was like obsessed with me, and I remember him coming into work, and he's like, I've already seen it like five times. I was like, damn, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But you remember walking out of the movie theater, and we were like, yeah, that was good. Or were you like, oh boy, yeah. that was rough. No, I remember it being like... Well, that was a Michael lot. Michael Chavis. A lot to try to figure out if I liked it or not. But, oh, yeah. But I enjoyed watching it. That's how they've been. Like, I'm like, I like stuff about it, but I also do like stuff. But I, you know, I wanted to watch it again. Joey Gallo. Was Revenge of the Sith the second one? Yeah. Yeah, it's really bad. There's only a few parts that are really like. Is that the one where you like you meet Django Fett and Boba Fett and that like dynamic? Yeah, I think so. That, like I said, the parts with the, where they go to the water place are the only parts I like. Yeah. All the stupid political stuff and the courting of. Yeah. Oh, Revenge of the Sith is the third one. Oh, Clone Wars is the no, second. That, yeah, that movie was good. I like that. One. Revenge of the Sith is the one with Darth Maul, right? Darth Maul's in the first one. Or is he in the first one? He's in Phantom Menace. Yeah. Yo, they, they fight each other at the end of the third one. What does he say? You got the Clone Wars out. Yes. <laughs> Around the survivors, a perimeter create. <laughs> oh, God, so dumb. Ruined Yoda. An assault that continued into the last Jedi. Around the survivors of the perimeter, perimeter create. create. That's yeah. seriously the line. Brendan Rodgers. Unbelievable. Hey, Boris. Yeah, other ones. Mm hmm. Ooh, Pete Alonso, Pink Velocity rookie. It's 
so stupid. I freaking love Yoda. He was like my hero growing up. Yeah. My mom said that I used to read. We had like little Star Wars books, and mm -hmm. she'd read them to me. And before I could read, I would like recite the book. Yeah. And she said like there was one part that said Yoda grew sad. Like I don't know what you know what yeah. it was or whatever. But I would always say that in, like a little kid's voice, and she it was like her favorite thing. I freaking love Yoda. And they ruin him. Stupid CG Rotten fake. The survivors. <laughs> so so dumb. Great. My eyes rolled out of my head in the theater. I was like, oh my. No. I don't even... I think he just tried to, like, make it too much. You know, like, make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, but, like, yeah, it's just weird that after that long... Yeah. He couldn't come up with something. Garrett Cole Blue. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably part of it, too, that nobody's gonna be like, uh... You know this thing that's, like, your baby and that you world famous for this one sucks <laughs> it would be hard if you wrote the original Star Wars and be like oh, I gotta make another one yeah three more no way what about three more Two After four oh, six, having six, to make six, three yeah. more, yeah. Fight scene. Yeah, but I couldn't get over the fact that he's like limping with a cane and then he's like. Ooh, Pete him. Alonso. Optic autographs. Damn, BBB. Another Pete Alonso. Racking him up this week. That's a good call about uh, Obi Wan, though. He is the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Obi Wan's good. Because then when it was like Obi Wan and. Um, What's his, you know, Hayden Christensen or whatever, like, he made that, Obi-Wan made the two of them better. Mm -hmm. Like, it made Hayden Christensen and all that more legitimate or whatever. I, don't think, I think it would have been worse. If he hadn't said it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Disability check. Yeah. This will be a color hot box, too. It should be, anyway. Always the last one. Yeah, it's weird how they're like always two of the last three. I mean, and also, uh, Queen Amidala was cast perfectly. Mm -hmm. Boy, there was some writing that was rough in this. Yeah, the writing. The, like, the Queen Amidala and um, Vader, Anakin stuff was. Yikes. Annie, yeah. Annie. Hello, Rasmus. Jeff McNeil. Hello. The chosen one. JMBBB. We haven't gotten an MVP signatures? Not yet. I bet there's one in here. That's another thing I noticed is that it that usually happens in color hot boxes that we get the uh, MVP. Makes sense. You're breaking my heart, Anakin. Lame. Christian Stewart blew to seventy five. Starling Marte, Orange Diamond Kings. Yon Moncada, Blue Diamond Kings. Well, maybe not. Corbin Burns Auto. Maybe we won't get an MVP. Big grab. Your Brewers. And a Trevor Story pink velocity. <laughs> Sir kills a lot. Urena, orange. Mm -hmm. 
No, a cinder guard to 75. Yo. Not just killed. He slaughtered the younglings. He massacred them. In their homes. Lester to 150. Oh yeah, when he goes into the Jedi training center and stuff. That was a little dark. Yeah. That's the third one, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, is that the second one? No, that's the third one. Because he doesn't, like, really make his turn until the third one, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's true. Oh, God, that's... All is forgiven. That actually bothers me almost as much as anything that happens in the prequels. The way that that... Purple lightsaber. Well, just the like. I don't know. I, th I just think Darth Vader should have stayed bad throughout Return of the Jedi. No. Oh. oh. Like. Big. Yeah. You know, right before he dies. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it makes less sense now that you see the whole story leading up to that. You know, like. Yeah. When you only saw the old ones, you're like, I don't know, he's bad, and now he figured out. He should, you, know, you realize. Luke made him good or whatever. Then you see like his whole, all that. And you're like, that wouldn't happen. Yeah. He doesn't care about Luke. He never has. Luke's he like, not even likable. Like if you, yeah. if your son was Luke, you'd be like, oh Some god, that's whiny kid. That. Yeah. You don't look at Luke like God. This brings out the fatherly love in me. Chance Adams. Carolina Blue. Harp's like I'm pretty sure Sam Nomnier hey, posted Donner's basketball <laughs> yeah. right now. So. Yeah, this is the last pack of the night, right here. Last pack of the night. Freddie Freeman, Pink the Last. You were right. You were right about. Tell your sister. You were right. I think that was just about the same as the last. Uh, as the one yesterday. Now, my son. Leave me. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. Leave me. Leave me. And they take his helmet off, and you're like, wait, that's Darth Vader? Yeah, I know, that's pretty sure. Pink Velocities, Kyle Tucker, Tuki Toussaint, Jordan, and Eloy. You got a couple of good names there. Gonsalves to 35, Loizaga to 125, Ferguson to 125, Glaber to 75. We had the Paddock Signature Series. Lau, Perez... Go Perez, Whitley, yeah. Neil, and Pete Alonso. Optic autographs. Oh, oh, and the gold Tiant for Cleveland. Um, how is this possible? We had a 176 parallel in the case. Oh, yeah. Weird. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> you know, it's hilarious. I think I've said this a million times, but. My son will be watching Return of the Jedi or whatever, one of those, and he's like, where's the seagulls part with Yoda? I'm like, that's not in the movie. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Richard's gold to 10, Peralta to 25. These are the 35. What is he talking about? You know, that's... the seagulls video, the, the bad lip reading. Oh, oh, oh. That's funny. He thinks it's in the movie. Like, that's just going <laughs> to, it'll all be a serious tone, and then all of a sudden they'll have, like, a seagulls music video. That log had a child. The one We the People parallel. Shavis. It is really good, though. Orange is the 99. Purple Stars to 125. We got a ton of these ones. Purple Stars. These are to 150. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> And Pink Velocity is 199. Man, a little pitchy. Pete Alonso. That log had a charge. 